Okay, I was asked to do a little bit of a shootout with Royal Purple and K&N. Uh, so here we are. Um, the K&N Gold Series. No standard pleats. Um, pretty good. A lot of filtering here. Not terrible. Uh, uses a Fram type bypass in the bottom where it's just a pleat. You can see I've got a Fram Titanium. That's for a different category over here. And <clears throat> this... Actually, that Fram Titanium can fit in this category or that category, so I'll cover that Fram in both. Um, I like how the weighted end, the k and Gold Series, has a really thick end on it. The bypass valve is really nice. Um, it's just the standard design, but it's efficient. Uh, the diaphragm here, it's got a really thick gasket on the end of it. Anti-feedback diaphragm is decent. It's not top of the line. Now when you move over into their, what is it, their Platinum Series, their k and Performance Series. Um, this can here, it's not super weak, but it is kind of flimsy. It's not super flimsy, but it's it's kind of borderline between, okay, that's pretty stout, and eh, it's getting more on the flimsy side. You pick up one of the Platinum cans, and you could actually, through the video, you can just see how thick that can is. I mean, it's a pretty strong can overall. But it uses a standard style pleat and there's nothing special about it at all. I mean, the filtering's adequate, don't get me wrong. Um, a lot of pleats in here, a lot. There's a lot of filtering going on, but you know, I just was able to grab this by finger and just rip it straight out of there with no effort at all. And a lot of the resin and glue actually came with it, which I'm not used to seeing. Same thing here. Um, they use more of a typical type uh, resin that most manufacturers would use on their gold series and none of the resin came with it. So I'm actually more impressed with the Gold Series than I am the Platinum, the performance side. Uh, the bypass valve is actually built into the bottom of it. It's just a little small, tiny bypass valve down in there with a spring above it. And there's a spring underneath it. It sits down in the can on top of the spring. Nice end, thick, very nice base. Really good, heavy-duty quality anti-feedback diaphragm so I would say there they, they've got pretty nice design on that really nice thick oil type gasket like this is you can completely dry this off and it would still have that oil look that real slick feel to it compared to their gold one but I would have to still give it to the gold um, just overall I feel like the gold one would be more bang for your buck than paying a few extra dollars for the performance but that's just me I mean not everybody's a race car driver but this is a performance filter when I take that performance filter and I compare it to the Royal Purple, I didn't, I couldn't find one of the same size, so I got one as close as I could to it. Um, the Royal Purple has a plastic ribbing on the inside. Uh, it's actually pretty strong. You try to crush it, and it's not. It actually holds up fairly well. Um, I was able to grab and remove the material from the outside and rip it pretty easy, like cotton. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of that, but at the same time, you know, these act different when they're wet than when they're dry. So when they're activated, I say activated like it's some kind of chemical, but when they're, you can see here, I'm just ripping the material. It's fairly easy. Um, when they're wet, I'm sure that they strengthen up a lot. It's actually very good filtering uh, material. There's less of it because of the type of material, but it seems like it's very adequate. It looks like it's almost a Fram type core in the center with that plastic. The bypass filters, it's, you know, old type technology, nothing too new. So there's nothing really to brag about there. They do have a heavy duty end with a lot of um, oil holes for flow. It looks like the threads are super, super thin on these. So I don't, a lot of people have complained about the threads in them. Here, if you look at the threads, you can see how much more robust and like defined they are, like thick, where the threads on this one are like super, super thin. You know, I do know it depends on thread pitch and everything else, but the thread insert area is just super thin on this Royal Purple. It's like there's not very much there at all. It's very small. Where if you look like at the K&N, it's like double or triple the thickness, and there's a lot of thread thickness there on how it actually supports being spun onto an item. Here, same thing, double, if not triple the thickness on the thread support. The Royal Purple one is it's tiny, it's super thin. There's not a lot of thread backing or meat there at all. The 
the can strength it's a pretty strong can it's not a it's not a super thin can so they they do have that going on for them for sure so i'd say their filtering technology is pretty good and decent um if i had to give it to a filter out of this category i would have to give it to this standard gold can in to be honest with you paying the extra money for the platinum for the extra strong can eh, i don't know that that would be worth it to me that's just my thoughts the bypass valve does seem to be a little bit more secure in the bottom of it with a heavy duty spring underneath but again we go back to i would rather just pay for the gold one if i wanted to throw something that can be considered semi-performance in there i could look at this fram i tried to destroy this i tried to pull it apart this stuff is super strong the only thing i could get was just some areas right there to fray where you can see where i was trying to actually grab the media and pull it and rip it and i can't it's got a metal ribbing on the inside you can kind of see a little bit of it right there focusing in on those holes it's actually backed by a metal cage. Um, the ends are glued really, really well in these things. It's got a steel core down the center. I tried to destroy it, and I couldn't. I was trying to rip the pleats and stuff out of it, and they wouldn't break away from the ends, which I was super impressed with. Uh, just trying to rip this media off of this thing in general, was not, it's not easy. You'd have to get a pair of pliers and stuff to do it, so I'm very, very impressed by, by the ultra-synthetic frame and um, also... I'm impressed by the the titanium here. Super heavy end cap, old technology bypass filter, nothing special. And you can see K&N still uses that style, Fram still uses that style, Royal Purple still uses that style. Um, standard gasket, nothing too special about it. You know, anti feedback diaphragm, nothing too special about it. I think I paid like. Uh, for the royal purple like $13 for it the canaan platinum like $16 for it and the canaan gold i paid like $11 11 or 12 for it and then the fram titanium i paid 13 bucks out of the four of these here if i was to pick which one that i would want to put best bang for my buck it would be the fram titanium by far uh, it just that's just me. I feel like it's got a stronger media to it. Um, I feel like it's got a heavier duty end to it. Uh, when it comes down to the thickness of the threads, it's kind of lacking in that area. Um, if you look at the thickness of this thread design and the thickness of this thread design, why do they look so similar? This is even thinner than the Fram. You can see that there's not very much meat on either one of these. But on the K&N, there's a lot of meat on the end of the K&N where it screws onto the filter. So they do have it there. It's going to come down to preference. You know, if I had to pick one of these for overall between these four, for overall strength, reliability, and stuff like that, I would pick the gold can. For overall, like, filtering capability and stuff and not trying to he-man the, the thing onto the vehicle, best bang for your buck, I would pick the Fram Titanium. That's just, that's just me, I mean... I can't make people do, and we're not all going to agree and do reviews the same way. So, uh, yeah, we're going to end this video now, and I'll load this one, and then I'll do a separate video on the Wix and the Napa. Thanks, guys.